Today, 1900 Park Fair at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa has reopened after nearly four years of being closed. This restaurant has reopened with some changes though, including the character lineup. You now get to meet Mirabelle, Aladdin, Tiana, and Cinderella. Today we checked out the food, including that incredible strawberry soup, and saw what this restaurant was like on opening day, so let's check it out. Hey guys, good morning from Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Today I am so excited because we are actually heading to 1900 Park Fair here at the Grand. This is a place that I have never eaten before, so a little bit of a backstory to 1900 Park Fair. This was a beloved character dining, sit down restaurant at the Grand Floridian. It actually shut down, well, at the same time, all the parks shut down. So this restaurant has yet to reopen since about 2020, like since the parks reopened. This was one spot that they just never reopened it and many people were wondering, there was tons of speculation for the longest time, is it ever gonna come back? Like what is going to become of this restaurant? And I was always bummed that I didn't get to try it out, but now we don't have to worry because it has reopened as of today. This is April 10th, 2024, and this is the opening day of 1900 Park Fair. Again, I know so many people are so excited to have it back. People who had loved going to it, people like me who never got to experience it and are now very excited to check it out. So that is where we are heading today. I'm looking forward to it. It is character dining. It's a buffet experience. They have a bunch of unique items like the strawberry soup. That's what everyone's told me I need to try. So yes, come join us. We're going to be checking out 1900 Park Fair. Let me know if you've ever dined here or if you're now going to be since it's come back. Kind of like me, now that it's come back, I'm excited that I now get to experience it. I just got over here to the Grand Floridian. I've just been walking around. I got here a little bit early and it's so nice just to start strolling around the resort. You always see something interesting at this resort too. The Grand Floridian always has something exciting going on, I feel, because a lot of weddings happen here. And if you can see right over there, they have tables set up for, it looks like a reception. And they actually have, I want to go see this. I think they're going to be doing a ceremony right here by the marina. Oh my gosh, they are. Look at this. Right here at the marina, they have the chairs set up. And this would be your view with Cinderella Castle right there. <laughs> it is a windy day today too. We don't usually get this much wind in Florida. I'm actually going to be meeting up with, we have a big group of us that are going to 1900 Park Fair. I'm very grateful. My friend Violet, shout out to Violet, she was the one who snagged us this reservation. Whenever something like this reopens, reservations always go like that. And she was the one trying to get it for us and was able to get opening day, which I'm just, I'm so grateful. I'm excited to see the opening day atmosphere and see if it still lives up to the hype. You know, I have to see, I don't know if my friends have ever been here before. I think we're all brand new to this restaurant, so we don't exactly have anything to compare it to. I do know a bunch of people were talking about online, they've changed up the characters that you now meet. So for this restaurant, they do breakfast and then they do dinner. And it used to be, I know previously, that for breakfast you would meet uh, Mary Poppins, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter, and those were all appropriate because, you know, they were in theme to the Grand Floridian. and all those characters are represented over here at this resort. It kind of fits the aesthetic. It fits the vibe of the Grand. And then for dinner, it was Cinderella, Prince Charming, and the stepsisters. That was for dinner, which that was also appropriate because, you know, they're royalty and it also fits in theme with the grand. Now they've changed up its um, Mirabelle from Encanto that you meet, Aladdin from Aladdin. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that after each one. <laughs> Cinderella from Cinderella and then Tiana from Princess and the Frog. So it's definitely a really fun assortment of characters. The one thing I'm seeing a lot of people say though is it's like before they went in theme with those characters were represented at this resort. I think now the theme that they're going with is that all four of those characters that I mentioned all made a wish in their story. So that's the tie-in point with those characters. But let me know in the comments, what do you think of the new character lineup? Are you excited for it? Something different, you know? But we're gonna start making our way towards the restaurant. I have to text my friends, see if they're here yet. Yeah, I figured I'd get here a couple minutes early and just have a little stroll around the Grand. This restaurant is open for breakfast and dinner. They shut down for lunch when they do the transition between the two, but like our reservation for breakfast is at 11.45. So you can get some later breakfast reservations and kind of count it as like a brunch of sorts. That's what we're doing today.
They're actually doing construction, like maintenance throughout the entire resort right now. And when I came in, oh my gosh, my palms started sweating because there was men on top of like that top peak of the Grand Floridian, like not even on the scaffolding, like climbing the very tippy top of it. And I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> big props to them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just came inside. So there's Grand Floridian Cafe. If you're wondering where the location of 1900 Park Fair is, it's right here. This is the grand entrance. Oh, that's so sweet. They have balloons and everything inside there. Celebrating the grand opening. Hello! Okay, let's take a look at the updated menu. Here we go, 1900 Park Fair. And we have breakfast and dinner. So. Breakfast selections, this is what we're gonna get to enjoy. Bread pudding with vanilla cream. This is the iconic Grand Floridian strawberry soup. They have a carving station, beef and potato hash, Mickey shaped waffles. Amazing, so they serve 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So we're gonna be right at the end of the serving for breakfast. Then from four to nine, they have the dinner selections. And it's the same characters at dinner as well. They have the peel and eat shrimp. Oh, I love that they also still have the iconic strawberry soup. They have Tiana's gumbo, oh, that'd be good. Baked salmon, oh yes, with a saffron lemon butter. Salmon is always my go-to, my friends will tell you that. They have a carving station and then, oh, a warm chocolate cake with vanilla cream. take a little peek inside. From what I heard, they did actually make some renovations. It's very beautiful. It kind of goes with that new aesthetic that I think Grand Floridian is going with that I like to call contemporary Victorian. <laughs> Our table is ready. We are heading inside. Oh, this is beautiful. They did upgrades in here too. Look how pretty. I gave you a shout out that you were the one who got this reservation. So there we go. What's your secret to getting an opening day reservation? I just click fast. You're just good. Okay, let's do a little once over of the buffet and then I'm gonna start getting some food here. But we have the dry cereal station. And then, oh, this looks good. A croissant breakfast pizza. And of course your potato barrels and ketchup. This is always fun. I can tell this is like the kids station, I think, but I'm definitely gonna have that pizza, let me tell you. They have gummy candy, just gummy bear candy on tap. Here we have the fresh fruit and your yogurts. They also have all the fixins over here. Make a little parfait. And now here we have the smoked salmon. You have your capers. I know I have my friends are probably gonna be going for this. I'm not the biggest smoked, so smoked salmon person, but they have it here. Next up is the cheesy potato casserole. That looks good. You can never go wrong with a casserole in the morning. Oh, this is what I'm getting. Classic Eggs Benedict. There we go. Amazing. And this is all you care to enjoy. You can have as many trips up to the buffet as you want. They have a beef and potato hash. We got the cheesy grits here. And then here is your carving station. Hello. Here with the carved ham. On this side of the carving station is then the chicken sausage. Over here is a spiced tofu scramble. They really do a lot of variety from what I'm seeing so far. Then we have the cheesy egg scramble and just classic scrambled eggs. This buffet keeps going. Now we have the pork sausage and bacon. You going in on the bacon bag? Yeah. Oh, this section looks good. This looks like a lot of the sweet offerings. Once again, it's always cute at the beginning of the buffet line. They have it lowered, like this is a kid's station, but this is for kids and kids at heart. They have pancakes, those look very fluffy. And of course, your iconic Mickey waffles and syrup on tap. Oh my gosh, and my friend just got this and we were remarking how delicious it looked the bread pudding. I've been looking forward to this right here. Bread pudding and they have the sauce. This is a vanilla cream. Oh, and then they have a cinnamon pull apart bread. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Here's an iconic, I'll have to ask my British friends I'm with their thoughts on biscuits and gravy. As an American, I love a good biscuits and gravy. Can't go wrong. And then you can have oatmeal and they got brown sugar and some caramelized apples. So you really have big variety from what I'm seeing. 
So that handles all of those stations. Over here, we have more like your continental breakfast of some bread, bagels. You can toast anything up. They have the croissants. All your jams and jellies and marmalades. Oh, and down here, we got fresh strawberries, and there it is, the iconic strawberry soup. This is a staple of this restaurant here at the Grand Floridian. I've never tried it. Even when I did my club level vlog, they had um, this dish up there, but I forgot to try it, so I need to try it today. Here we go, and last little station, we have all the yummy donut holes. They have a double chocolate muffin in the back banana bread and your guava and cream cheese danishes. Those look really good. Okay, I'm gonna grab a plate. So here's my first plate. I even have stuff buried under here. I just went for a little bit of everything. I got some of the carved ham. I threw a Eggs Benedict on top. I just went for it. Oh, I also said that my British friends would have commentary about um, biscuits and gravy. What are your thoughts on, no, okay. Violet said no comment on biscuits and gravy. <laughs> so you see, that's their theme, the wish Please thing. but this actually has edible glitter on the donut hole. Just did the little wishing ceremony. That was cute. They had the characters process around. Now, we're diving into the food. So far, my standout. I really like, well, that donut hole was great. The banana bread pudding, can't go wrong. That's amazing. We said everything is basically your standard Disney breakfast buffet, but it's very good quality. Like, it's very fresh. So that's our hot take so far. So you had your wishes? We did, yes. We made our wishes. So we can make them come true. Yeah. I had a wish. I wanted to make my family proud. I was able to do that by shaving the miracle. But I have my friends and my family with me. Well, can we get the pictures together? That would be great, yes. Oh, my God. 
together there it was like boom 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 yeah so I like the way they like laid it out I would say like this is a solid yeah, nine for me for an experience it's good yeah yeah strawberry soup I think that was a highlight I just love how unique it was my friend here has the best analyzation that it was the cross between a yogurt and a smoothie yeah. they were to mix the two because I was trying to figure out the consistency of it yeah it's very good what else any other what was like a highlight I didn't try the bacon. Well, we've done it all wrong. Is it all wrong? Go back up. Done it all wrong, Meg. Uh, the Mickey Waffle is always a uh, go to. Yeah, go to. Good one to get. I really like. Did you try the guava cream cheese no. pastry one? The Danish? That was really good. I actually had two of those. Those were, that was my other highlight. Yeah. yeah. So those are our picks. It's yeah. very pretty in here. I like what they've done renovation wise. The New Age Grand Floridian, the Contemporary Grand Floridian. Yeah, it's nice. It is now right after one o'clock, so they are transitioning, and now they're getting ready for dinner, but everyone's kind of still finishing up from breakfast. Like us who had the later breakfast is kind of finishing up, and it's really nice because now it's quiet in here. I can show you this main room is beautiful. So we sat back there in the back, but right inside here, they have these gorgeous light fixtures. I love they have all the different Disney princesses and characters. There's Ariel, my favorite all up here. And there's Aladdin. I just love this. Look at the iridescent balloons. And uh, it's, it's stunning. We just came out the side entrance of, oh, this is beautiful. It's nice that they do have this opened. This is always where I saw, because this basically stretches the entire length of the ground floor of the Grand. And yeah, we're gonna pop out on the other side, the other side of the lobby. Look at this. Okay, well we just saw the 1900 Park Fair. That was really special. I always love the opening day atmosphere. It's just so fun. Big shout out to like all the cast members, the wait staff, everybody. They all did an incredible job. It was really cool. We actually were talking to one of the chefs and he used to be here at 1900 Park Fair. And then when this shut down, he was at a couple other different places, but now he's come back here home to the Grand and it's just really special. You can just tell everybody, cast members, all of us, everyone's just so happy to have this back. My only critique, I do think it would be cool if they still, in addition to the characters they had, because they were all great, I wish that they did have Alice and Mary Poppins still because they are like the Grand Floridian characters. The rooms here are Mary Poppins themed, like Alice in Wonderland, they have the splash pad out here and everything. The fact that before 
or it was Alice and Mary Poppins. It fit just the theme of this hotel. It made this feel like a very niche experience from what I had seen. But I will say the character interactions that we had in there were so good. Um, Tiana especially, oh my gosh, she spent so much time with us. They were great. All, seriously, all the characters were great. They really took their time. It didn't feel rushed. Like sometimes character dining feels very rushed. And I don't know if it was kind of benefited us that we were one of the later seatings, but it just truly felt like a very relaxed experience. So that was a plus. Now, just to goodbye to the friends, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just, just take a little stroll here at the Grand again. Anytime I'm here at the Grand, you just have to take it all in. It is a beautiful day. It's in like the 80s right now. The sun's out. Oh, it'd be so nice to be in this pool over here. All right, guys, so with that, I am heading out of the Grand Floridian. This was really special. Like I said, the opening days, it's just always so much fun. Like, I just love the atmosphere. But definitely let me know in the comments below what you thought based off of what you saw with the food, with the characters that they have. Are you going to check it out? Do you like the changes, like the little updates? If you've been to it before, too, let me know if it really did seem like the decor has changed. Because I know people were saying that a few of the decor pieces and things were different now so yes let me know in the comments what you thought about it but also I want to give a huge shout out to I met Doug and Elaine I had the nicest conversation with them thank you both so much for watching I hope you had an amazing vacation seriously you guys made me smile this morning thank you so much for coming up and saying hi I really appreciated it and yeah so with that make today magical and I will see you soon in the next video bye